chase in the hunt and I set the pace when I'm running I always take what I want and I always give it 100 Don't need a bank, no I'm funded Play the game like it's nothing I'm always thankful for something Don't take for granted, stay humble Now wake up! It's time to look at the enemy Look in the mirror if he is no friend to me It's not working out, maybe it's the chemistry It's time to break up so I can make a better me Better believe in your mind cause it's everything Hello and welcome to this mod review of the all-in-one underground facility by Superfly1842. I have reviewed this mod before but it's been substantially upgraded and I thought it warranted a look at the changes and in particular the new additions. One of the biggest additions is that the facility now has unreal storage capabilities so you can build it as a separate choice in the build menu to have unreal storage facility which I think is good and of course you can still build it in its normal form as well and then more importantly uh, in my opinion um, we've added a, um, a garage to an underground storage or well, underground garage um, that goes along with the mod as well and that is brilliant I really do enjoy that I have got the Superfly's description of the of the mod and the change log which hopefully you've been reading while I've been waffling on right let's get started let's build these so if you go into farmhouses you'll find the two options that to build uh, 500,000 for the normal option and 775,000 for the unrealistic storage capability we'll build that one you'll notice that even though we flattened out the land the cost of the building is substantially more than the base cost and that's because there's a big hole that needs to be dug <laughs> to, uh, to fit it in so yeah, it's just the way it is, I suppose. Any event, let's get this done. Let's get this placed. That's better, as we can see the whole thing. There we go. So on the face of it, doesn't look hugely different to the to the original, but of course, the main difference with this mod is. That you can store 1500 liters so basically unrealistic capabilities right and then this is the second part of the mod which you'll find in tools and that is all in one underground facility so buildings tools underground facility and that can be placed well wherever you want to but uh, I think it goes quite well being placed quite close to the to the original building this is another change the superflies swung that that um, fuel reservoir around so that the fill up points are pointing outwards the storage silo does still come with some water and diesel in it same amount as in the original one the next thing that you'll notice is the electric charging point which is now free to use and the watering point still over there you can also still fill up your diesel at that point the entrance looks pretty much the same nice and futuristic and apoc apocalyptic if you wish or guarding against the apocalypse <laughs> fantastic little click on on the hand thing you do need to be standing in the well pretty close to the door which is okay it's not that's pretty much normal automatically close as you go in that's the same as it was before 
this first switch here is to toggle the icons in the in the actual um, bunker if you want to call it that in the underground house workshop if you toggle it on again and if you glance over the top you can see that the icons are now visible toggle it off and of course they are gone small thing but quite nice uh, this is for the main light switch and that switches on the lights throughout the whole the whole bunker the lift works normally your wardrobe is still where it was no change there this is your light switch on and off again the joysticks in the in the original were able to move they don't in them anymore that's to do with the slot count for Xbox and PlayStation 5 users that light switch switches on the floor lights which is quite neat so that toggles that on and off and what I missed in the first game is that the um, the Mars mission was actually on the console and I thought I was being quite clever in uh, saying that that's where it's be best suited but it's been designed for the new edition of that map or to be used in the new edition of that map the bread can still be moved around, thrown around, we won't be eating that, it's been on the ground you can still move the little gem as well small little things but there to amuse every now and again this part of is pretty much unchanged it works as normal the cat has been changed for a dog sleep trigger is still on the bench and you can walk between the bench and the table now which is quite nice you don't have to stand on the table to get to the bed fantastic light switch for the workshop area works on both floors down the stairs this is the light switch for the bottom floor the switches the lights on there fantastic this is all pretty much the same the only thing is um, in the uh, in the original you could move a lot of these bits and pieces but you can't now vehicle workshop trigger is still there yeah, it's pretty much the same can't remember seeing this in the last one but uh, didn't really look for it but that's a nice little feature there wash your hands after you've been working on the vehicles fantastic back up the stairs a piece of bread still lying in front of the console or the command center let's head on out and that's basically the underground bunker with the little with a few changes here and there as I mentioned that it's now an unreal cap capability for store for storage and then we have the major part of this or the major update this and that's that you can now put in your underground garage it works pretty much the same well virtually exactly the same as the um, as the workshop in bringing the floors up and down um, as Superfly did mention um, there's, no, there's no way of getting around the physics of having to to change the to take it all the way down and bring it all the way back up again if you want to change the floors got a whole lot of vehicles just parked around here and I thought we'll just see what we can get into the into the garage see how much we can pile in there I suspect this will be 
touch and go to get it in by virtue of the length of the of the combination I think they'll well, pretty sure they'll individually get in but let's see if we can keep it in the same sort of formation so we do know that the flaps at the end will lift up so that's kind of the line that we need to utilize as our front and back guides so that's pretty much on there let's go and have a look at the back and see if it's yeah so that's over so that one but not mum not by much so i think we'll try what happens if we i think what i'll do is i'll just unhook this well take it out a little bit further unhook the truck and then push it right back underneath the trailer and i think it'll fit because we don't need that much space that's about right yeah there we go so we just need to remember to hitch it up before we take it out but yeah that'll fit in fabulous so you can take something like that and and just work out how you're going to um, fit it in so I'm sure you could do that with a lot of different bits of equipment let's see if we can get this one in now this one might have the same sort of ability this is a big tractor in the front this is the uh, the big fence of course there are bigger tractors in terms of length let's have a look and see if this fits in nah a little bit longer than that that's not a problem trade will still fit in so it's just a question of uh, of working out where you're going to place things so we'll do a bit of a jigsaw puzzle on the rest of the stuff the rest of the vehicles see what we can pile in here these are all pretty much the biggest well maybe not the biggest but certainly near the biggest equipment so this um, New Holland is quite sizable that's probably one or two slightly bigger than it that fits in quite nicely and fits in next to the track as well so yeah what else can we try and put in how about we try a forage harvester see if that'll fit in behind it with this type of garage you know I suppose you won't be you it, it's not like a um, a vehicle shed on the farm where you'd be just driving vehicles in and out this is where you would store them say in the winter months or the bad the bad weather months on Mars or wherever you might be in the apocalypse so you can spend a bit of time packing your garage as such or arranging your garage so that won't fit in the forage harvester wouldn't fit in as well we'll just leave it close at hand I'm sure we can make some sort of arrangement see if we can get the the fence in behind there I think we will get this in behind it's not quite as long yeah that's good certainly some weight in there <laughs> uh, good let's see if it'll go down yeah so that's floor one fully packed get floor floor two back up see what we can squeeze in there nice put the big tractor in first the big John Deere this is not going to work is it it didn't work with the fence so but <laughs> let's see if we can I think it might well I can safely say it's going to be too long <laughs> but let's put let's put in so we can get the trailer in and see what else we can fit around the trailer so I did try to put in one of the very long um, headers I should have saved it but I didn't 
um, one of the long um, one of the long headers, and um, it was too long. So, if you want to store headers in these garages, you just need to make sure that you're using a header that is short enough to go in. So the very long headers sometimes have a problem. Bearing in mind, you have to put them onto a onto a header trailer. So we get that in there. We get the forage harvester in behind it. Yeah, nice and easy. So with the equipment that we've got into that one garage, we can do quite a few jobs, with the exception of the header, which is what made me think about it. Um, but we certainly could do a good foraging job. We don't have a forage head header on, but that could probably fit in front of the trailer. Didn't think about it when I was uh, when I was working things out, but still, so we still have occasionally. Although I seem to think it's well, it seems a lot less where some vehicles will float for a little while than it did in the that it does in the workshop. Um, but that's that's not an issue, really, really not an issue. It's just the way things are. Right, and that's it. Pretty much in a nutshell. Let's get that up again. Looking good, looking good. Let's have a little walk around and see how it's working. the chase and the hunt and I set the pace when I'm running I always take what I want and I always give it 100 don't need a bank no I'm funded play the game like it's nothing I'm always thankful for something don't take for granted stay humble now wake up it's time to look at the enemy look in the mirror if he is no friend to me it's not working now maybe it's the chemistry it's time to break up so I can make a better me better believe in your mind cause it's everything you can mold shape find anything all it takes is some time and some clarity to find your identity it's mind over everything Well, I think that's where we're going to end this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you've enjoyed it and found it informative, please like and subscribe. And we'll catch you in the next one. Cheerio.